Phone number validation in Vue.js. Phone number validation is one of those annoying things. If you try and do it yourself manually, I promise you, you're gonna hate your life even more than you already do. So the best thing to do is use a package where someone's done all the hard work for you and you can just come along and just take all their hard work and just put it into your project. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this package here by Jack O'Connor called International, International Tell Input. This is a very, very popular phone validation plugin used by lots and lots of websites. It's actually sponsored by Twilio, which is a big company that do, they do a lot of stuff, sending text messages, SMS, that sort of thing. So they recommend to use it. They use it themselves. It's good, basically. It's good. Let's just get on with it. I've got a blank Vue.js project here. Doesn't do anything at the moment. If you have questions about what the hell's going on here, just just leave them in the comments. I'm not gonna go over that now. It's just an input and a button, basically. And I've bound a phone variable to this input. Okay, not gonna go over that. But let's have a look at this package by Jack O'Connor, International <laughs> Tell Input. I can't bother to read through all this, but let's just cut to the chase, getting started with a bundler. So we're gonna run this npm install command. So we're just gonna run that in the root of our Vue.js project. Let that do its thing. That's done. See what we've got to do now. Import the CSS. So I'm just doing all of this in the app.view file to keep it simple because there is nothing to this project other than what you can see on the screen right now. That's actually a lie. I created a container component, but other than that, there's nothing else. Oh, and I installed Tailwind. Other than that, there's nothing else. Oh, and no, I'm joking. Okay, so we imported that. Set the path to flags. I don't remember doing this before, but we should probably do that. So let's just add a style tag down here. Paste that in. We'll have a look at that in a bit. I don't actually know what the path to these flags is. I'm assuming it's in um, node modules, but I don't know. So let's actually come back to that. Import the JavaScript and initialize the plugin. Okay, so we're just gonna import this. And then because we're doing this in view, we're gonna to have to do things slightly differently. So what I'm gonna do is just copy this and paste it into our project, and then we'll rework it for Vue.js. So first thing you wanna do is make use of the on-mounted lifecycle hook. So I'm just gonna import that up here. And what this is gonna do when we use it, it's gonna run when our app is mounted. So we say on mounted. And then we're just gonna copy this inside the hook. And we're gonna change it a bit. So we're gonna leave this as it is. So const input equals document dot query selector and then we've got this hash phone this refers to our phone input down here and we actually have already given it an id of phone so that's quite convenient so that has to match up to whatever the id is down there and then this gets put in here but we're going to just change this very slightly we're going to say const iti equals ref and we're going to make this a blank object. So you have to import ref up here as well. And then we're going to basically assign this ITI, which is going to be the initialized instance of this phone validation object. So we're going to say ITI.value equals this. And we're going to, to put the path to this script. And I don't know what it is off the top of my head. Let's see if I can find it. We're going to navigate to this international tell input in the node module. So we're going to say cd node modules international. Okay. Yeah, there it is. So let's copy this path. Paste that in there. So we're going to say come out of the source folder, node modules, that, 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 get rid of this. So we want up to JS. With a bit of luck, that will actually work. So I'm just gonna save that. 
get rid of that actually. And let's just output this TI. Let's just do another div down here and see if anything happens with this. Right, let's just refresh it. Okay, this is good. This is ITI object and you can see all of these countries. This is part of it, obviously, it is it. Click this drop down. So this is where flags should be. So we need to figure out paths to this. Yeah. Let's have another look in here. If this is confusing, just let me know. Leave a comment down below. Because to be honest with you, I feel like I'm explaining this terribly. Just ask any questions and I can clarify. Let's copy this path and override these. So we're gonna do the out of our source folder again, modules that, build image flags, yeah, that looks right to me. So copy that. Paste. 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 Save that with a bit of luck, we've got flags now. Yep, okay, that's good, very good. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of that object because it's really unpleasant to look at. Getting somewhere, we're getting somewhere. So we've got the package up and running. I'll tell you what, I'm just gonna make that full width actually. And you do that by adding this container class and this will add any classes you want to the container, funnily enough. I'm using Tailwind, so I'm gonna say W full, save that. And it's worked. Okay, that's nice. So let's just have a little look. So I'm going to put in United Kingdom. And I'm going to see if it formats the phone number for me. It does. That's actually nice, isn't it? So that's good. So it's working at this moment. And now let's have a look at actually validating our phone number. When we click this button, we're going to validate phone. And now let's create that validate phone up here. It's gonna be a method. And now we just use one of the methods on our ITI object to see if the number is valid. So we say this, we say ITI dot value dot is valid number. And so you can see how this is working. We're going to console log it out. So let's see what happens if we put in a valid number and an invalid number. So we've got our console here. First, let's just click the button and see what happens. So it's false because it's not a valid number because there's no number. So let's set the country to United Kingdom again. And I'll put a valid number in. So this number is the correct length and it starts in the right way. So true. Okay, so let's add an extra digit and we should get false. We do get false. Now let's put the correct number of digits but an incorrect start to the phone number. We also get false. So it's working. That's good. So now Let's look at how we can add an error message here. So if we go back here, we can say const phone error equals ref, and we'll just make it blank. Now, every time we run this validator, we're gonna wanna reset this phone error to an empty string. So we can say phone error dot value equals empty string. And then we can run our validation. So this, get rid of that console.log. So we can say if, so we put it in an if statement. So if that returns false, we're gonna say, then we wanna say phone error dot value is invalid phone number. And then we wanna use this phone error down here 
to output our error message. So we want to say b if phone error. And we'll output the phone error. So we only want to show it if there's the error. So let's save that. And now we don't see the error there. But now if we put an invalid phone number, we get the error message. And now we put a valid phone number. It's gone. So what you would do next is you'd continue with your form submission. I don't know what you want to do with your phone number. So you most likely want to submit it to a server. So what you would probably say is if, again, I don't know what you're doing, but let's just say you had multiple inputs. You're going to do all your validation, but let's just assume you've got the phone validation only to worry about. You would say if phone error dot value is empty, then you'd have the rest of your form submission down here. So that is how you use the International Telephone Validation Package by Jack O'Connor. Very good. There are loads of other options you can do. So I might just do another video about a lot of the other features, but that's a real basic way of doing it. Other features, just for example, you can set the default country that you want to appear first. So I would set United Kingdom flag to show first, probably if I'm doing something related to United Kingdom, which I probably would be. And you can get specific error messages. So for example, you could say the phone number is too long or the phone number is invalid for another reason or the phone number doesn't have enough digits. There's multiple errors. You can get the specific one and use that. So I'll go over them in another video. The end.